Hi Pisces. So apparently my microphone is broken, you guys. But I'm seeing here um, spirits are showing us the very first card they showed us in the last reading where the volume went out. The Eight of Swords and the Ten of Swords. You're really up in your head about something coming to an end here. All right. You keep thinking about this this ending or a betrayal. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know at the time they're viewing this reading? What do they need to know? Yeah, could be having a hard time sleeping, feeling pain with the Three of Swords. Spirits, what do Pisces need to know at the time they're viewing this video? Pisces, what do you need to know? All right, Pisces, so the very first card you have is the Ten of Wands. And then you have the Four of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands. Someone here is carrying a heavy financial burden. All right, you're holding on to your money, but you have hope here. You have the three of wands and you're showing up as the queen of wands, male or female. So you're showing up here as um, you're very confident, very, very confident here, Pisces, that you can make this work. And you're absolutely right because the 10 of wands has reached a 10 and you're about ready to drop a very heavy burden, some heavy energy that just keeps replaying itself in your mind. The center card of your reading is the 10 of pentacles. Everything's going to come together for you perfectly, Pisces. You have the 10 of pentacles going from the four of pentacles where you're really, really needing to hold on to your money, holding on tightly to the Ten of Pentacles, to where there's a feeling of completion, feeling like you don't want for anything. And you're also here, Pisces, you don't realize it yet. But I'm telling you, the Ten of Wands is your very first card, your very first tarot card. And the Ten of Wands um, is telling you that you will be dropping a heavy burden very soon. All right, and then you have the Five of Swords, Death, Scorpio energy, the Five of Cups. And the Six of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Star, Aquarius energy. And you have the Nine of Cups. I feel like you feel like something's not working out. Something's not working out. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Burdened with heavy, heavy burdens. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Okay, so you have the Four of Cups. This, this right here is telling me, Pisces, that you're not interested in what you're carrying around right now. You're not feeling happy about it. You're rejecting it. You're saying this is not for me. You're sick and tired. You're showing up as the wounded warrior. You're exhausted. There was something that you were fighting for and you were going to fight, fight, fight till the bitter end and keep it. And now you're losing interest with the Four of Cups. You're like, no, thank you. I don't want it. And someone here is sneaking away because we have the Seven of Swords and we have the Six of Swords. Someone here is making a move and they're staying quiet about it. 
Tell me why the Four of Pentacles is here. See, walking away in the night. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Spirits, tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Judgment. A major life changing decision here Pisces with judgment you are sick and tired of something and you're getting out of it you're going away why is the four of pentacles here there's something new there's a new opportunity that's going to show up here Pisces and this is your pentacles this is your money there's a new doorway opening up And you can see the, um, the opportunity here that lies ahead. You see the potential in something, Pisces. And um, I feel like that's why you're deciding to come up with a plan. And this is all about you. This is what makes you happy. And I'm hearing for once, I'm going to do something that makes me happy. You have the magician here and the high priestess. You're keeping this to yourself or you're not telling someone the chariot cancer energy. You're getting in the car and you're going. Tell me why the queen of wands is here. This is all about you, Pisces. And something that you're wanting to accomplish, you have the, you have that huge Ace of Pentacles there, and you see it, a new doorway opening up. And so the Queen of Wands, male or female, it's the energy of the Queen of Wands, the confidence, and um. Boy, it's like you are, you're serious about what you want. Look at your face. Very serious about what you want. And so there's something here that you're leaving behind. And I have to tell you, I can see there's a little bit of worry about this, okay? You're feeling defensive here, Pisces, with the Seven of Wands because I'm seeing a messenger showing up. Do you see this Knight of Swords? This person's going to show up very, very soon. They're holding up their sword. And you are, you're like pushing back with the Seven of Wands. But whoever this sudden messenger is showing up here, you're not expecting them. And this is going to cause a tower, all right? It's going to cause a sudden change that, you, that you're that you not going to see coming. And this is going to happen out of the blue. And this is clarifying something here for you, Pisces. Because, again, you're showing up here as the Queen of Wands, walking away. You are feeling defensive, but there is a messenger here that's going to shock you, all right? And I want to find out more about this messenger. Tell me more about this messenger, spirits. The chariot is the fastest moving card in the tarot deck, and this is cancer energy. Tell me more about the messenger that's showing up here for Pisces. Who is this messenger? The Knight of Wands. We got two knights here now, Pisces. Two knights. Why is there two knights showing up here for Pisces? Why is there two knights? The Four of Wands. Okay, so you've got someone here that's not too happy with you, Pisces. And there's someone else here that's showing up like this person really, really, really has a lot of passion for you, a lot of drive. It's like come your knight in shining, shining armor 
coming in to steal you away, to take you away. This person wants marriage or something here, Pisces. You could be getting married or moving in together with someone. But I'm spirits are telling you, you know, that whatever you're doing here, it's a self-satisfying energy. You're getting your cups lined up. You're getting things in order. And you have 11, 11. You're on the right path. Watch for the numbers 11, 11. Because you literally have a wish fulfillment coming in here, Pisces. Ten of Pentacles touching all of these other cards. But there's someone here. There's that other knight, a knight of swords. And um, spirits are not being very specific about that one. And I feel like because this is different for all of you. Let me try one more time because I picked up on that knight of wands. Okay, so the ace of wands is showing up here. All right, and so spirits are saying yes. Um, this person that you're, or whatever the situation, the person, or I'm feeling a situation that you're walking away from, um, this is going to be different for all of you guys, but there's a brand new passionate beginning and spirits are coming in with a fist. Yes, there's a brand new passionate beginning starting here for Pisces. All right, no matter what anybody says, this is yours. You know it's yours. You're getting things lined up. The three of wands is next. So after you make this move, whatever it is, Pisces, you have the three of wands showing up here. So it's like there's this energy of waiting for something. So let's clarify. Why is the three of wands here? There's a celebration. This could be a new home or something here, Pisces, with the four of wands, something that you're going to be celebrating. Okay, so now you have another night. You have the Knight of Cups. What you were waiting for is arriving. Arriving. All right. There's someone here that this person is someone who you could have... I would be unsure about this person if this person were in my life. This is someone that you more than likely you felt unsure about, all right? Because this person, they there could be an age difference here or this person just acts younger. But this person um, shows you many different sides of them, okay? But the thing is, is I'm seeing someone here who is like always on a horse, like always taking action. So this is who this person is. This is someone who's very driven. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups. Tell me more about this person. You have a knight, Pisces. Let me put it this way. You have someone showing up here with a cup. Do you see the cup in their hand? Now look it up here. You have the Nine of Cups. This person is bringing you the Tenth Cup. All right? And this is huge because this is like the Tenth Cup, like the Ten of Cups, like emotional fulfillment. And the next card you have is the Ten of Pentacles. This is having it all, everything you want, your wish fulfillment, a wish being granted. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Okay, so you have the Empress and you have the King of Swords. You have the Hierophant here. This is Taurus energy, the Hierophant. This person wants a commitment with you. This, this person wants marriage with you. Um, Taurus energy is strong here, Pisces. But you have someone here that is a king of swords. So this could be an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. 
also, but you could be dealing with any sign, but this person's made up their mind. They want to have it all with you, Pisces. They see you as the Empress. They see you, you know, like you can give them everything. Tell me why the King of Swords is here. They, they wouldn't want nothing, no one else but you, Pisces. The Page of Swords in the world. There's a cycle here of you being this student, of you trying to figure things out that is completely ending and coming full circle with the world. This student energy you've been carrying around wondering what the heck is going on is over. It's ending. And the next card you have is you may have a bit of a fight here on your hands. All right? Because you have the five of swords. So there may be an argument with someone coming into your energy very soon. You got two fives. So there's a bit of a conflict with you doing what you're doing here. And this could involve other people. But I'm seeing an argument breaking out. and it, Like some words being spoken here. Someone's not happy. Why is the five of swords here? The nine of pentacles. Because you're choosing you. Alright. There's a lot about you choosing yourself. Um, the Hermit is her Virgo energy. You are not going to feel left out in the cold because you're giving to something that you don't want to give to anymore, Pisces. Tell me more about this Hermit. Why is the Hermit here? The Nine of Swords. Yeah, you've spent too many nights awake, worried. <coughs> and these could be financial worries for some of you. Doesn't have to be, but you've spent too many nights worried about things that you have no control over. This is sitting up in bed, not being able to sleep. So now it's all about you. You're going into hermit mode, and you're whether you're with someone or not, this is all about you now. What makes you happy, Pisces? <coughs> and let me lift up these cards, because the next card you have is you have a major arcana, a major change. All right, this is something in life that we really don't have control over. It's just going to happen. And what you have showing up here is death. So you have something coming to an end. Something is going to end. And that is Scorpio energy. And what is ending here, Pisces, is there, you've been in a self-sacrificing energy with the hanged man. And you're starting to see the bigger picture you're starting to realize that this self-sacrificing energy is getting you nowhere. Tell me why death is here for Pisces. Wow, the King of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles coming together. There's someone here that you're going to be coming together with, Pisces. And... So you're you're putting an end to another situation, um, a situation that might be causing costing you in some way. Very interesting. Tell me why the King of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles are here, spirits. Because you're, you're walking away from something, Pisces. You're walking away. And you're coming together with this person because they make you happy. And although this is difficult for you to walk away from something here, this person makes you happy. It's a very driven, very friendly, 
and in fact this this is your true match Pisces because you were just showing me the queen of wands and this is the king of wands but see, you are the empress in this reading. So you have, you can embody all of the queens in the tarot deck here in your energy at this time. And so there's something here that has to do with pentacles or money or something here that, is, that you're walking away from so that you can be with your... With the love of your life, basically. The love of your life. And then I'm seeing the Five of Cups. And I feel like there's some people in your energy here that are not going to be happy about this. And it's kind of leaving you, you and your emotions. Because you're kind of like, I really don't want to disappoint anybody. But I've got to do what makes me happy. Why is the Five of Cups here? And there's a bit of sadness here in your energy, Pisces, but you're taking control. Now you're showing two king type of an energy. I'm in the one in control. You see your power. You see who you are, Pisces. And you're going from the queen of pentacles into the king of pentacles. When it comes to your money, Pisces, you're going to be stronger you're going to be the boss. And um, I've got one more card here. The Ace of Wands. All right, showing up here again. This is yours. It's a hand coming out of the sky. It's this huge, brand new, passionate beginning that you're going to be very, very excited about, Pisces. Tell me why the Six of Pentacles is here. Let me see something. Yeah, you're you are balancing out the scales. You're making you're making things right and fair as best as you know how to. And there's someone here that you're like pouring coins or something in the material world into their hands. This could be coins or time. And there's someone else here that is backed off that you were it's like you've You've given to this energy enough, and now it's time to um, give to this other energy. That's what I'm seeing you doing. Even if you look at the, the scales here, one of them is slightly higher, um, and this one is closer to this person that you're turning away from, the person or the situation, and you're turning towards the other way and whatever this situation or person is they're like in the background now tell me why the six of pentacles is here the wheel of fortune something huge is changing pisces huge wow the ace of cups to find the love of your life here, Pisces, and you were not sure about this for a while, this is coming to an end. This is your true love showing up here. This is destiny. The two of you were meant to find each other, and you found each other here. And it's something you can't deny. It's something you can't let go of. Okay, so with the Six of Pentacles, you have the Devil, Capricorn energy, and you have the Four of Swords. You're, you're, um, apparently not giving to the Devil anymore. You have the Four of Swords, you're praying, alright, because there's something toxic here that you were giving to, and it could be... Um, codependency, I don't know what it is, Pisces, because it's going to be different for all of you, but you are giving to a situation or a person that you're walking away from now, and um, you're putting it to rest. You have the Four of Swords here, and you could be praying 
you know, that, that all will be okay with the situation that you felt so stuck and tied to. Tell me more about the devil. And the devil is Capricorn energy. I'm not sure if I told you guys that. This might be a job or this might be... It has something to do with money, though, I feel like. Yeah, you're receiving justice here, Libra energy, and you have the Eight of Pentacles. What you're, what you work for, what you earn, is not going to be attached to the devil anymore. Something's going to be made right, and this is why you have a wish fulfillment coming in here with the star. This is a card of healing. And this is also a card, Pisces, of that devil energy. It's something that could linger on your mind. Um, am I doing the right thing? Even though you know the situation is wrong, you know it's wrong and it's not fair. But you continued to give to it because it was easier to give to it than to walk away. But um, now you're releasing it to the, to the universe here with the star. It's something that you don't have any control of. You don't have any control over any other person other than yourself. Why is the star here? There's a fight here that you can't win. You're throwing down your swords. You're walking away. And here, the star is here. You're releasing it to the universe because for quite a long while now, Pisces, the, there's an old man on the hermit. So for quite a few years, there's something here that you worry about that has you staying up at night. It's a situation that you don't have any control over. It's something that you have been feeling stuck to though and you don't know you didn't know how to get out of it you didn't want to for some of you leave somebody in the cold but i'm seeing here that there is this energy and this is similar to the reading i did for you guys a couple days ago or i don't know if it, it might have been a general reading of you releasing this to the universe and walking away. Throwing down the swords. No more fight. I'm done. I don't want to think about it anymore. I don't have any control over it. Alright, you guys. Um, Let's get your Moonology cards for advice from the universe. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know? What does Pisces need to know? Reflect on your priorities. Last quarter moon in Aquarius. You need to reflect on your priorities, Pisces, and not worry too much about what you're leaving behind because you have high priorities right now. You might want to get like a notebook or something and write these down so you don't forget about them because it is a stressful situation of what you're walking out of here. But spirits are telling you to lighten up last quarter moon in Leo. Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to, to go through very smoothly here for you. You're going to be shocked at how this works out. Step up and lead. New moon in Capricorn. And with step up and lead, you have first quarter moon in Aries. Step into your power. Do not show weakness right now, Pisces. Know who you are. Step into your power and step up and lead. All right. Your, your intuition is right on point. You're absolutely right. Do not be afraid to step up and lead. All right, you guys. I want you to 
ask your angels and your guides a question. And I want you to choose number one, number one, number two, or number three. And um, choose as many as you're feeling called to choose. And ask your angels question, Pisces. If you chose number one, the answer is no. And if that doesn't resonate with you, don't take it. All right, that could be quite a specific message for someone because it has an explanation point to no. know. If it is yours, you're going to know it. And if you chose number two, wait. And if you chose number three, abundance. All right, Pisces, I love you guys so much. Thank you for taking the time to like and subscribe and for being here with me. Um, Gypsy, I got your present in the mail. It was very exciting. Thank you. Lots of presents in there. Thank you, Gypsy. But um, you guys take care of you today. And I'm sorry about the other video. I'm trying to talk loud because um, apparently my microphone's doing that. But I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow, Pisces. Namaste.